Hi guys, good afternoon and welcome to my new video. Today we will install Windows 10 on a computer instead of Windows XP. If you have Windows Vista, you can also follow my steps step by step, since the whole process will be exactly the same on Vista as in Windows XP. First, we will download the Windows 10 ISO file from the official Microsoft website to the computer, it will be free. Then we will download the Rufus program to create a bootable Windows 10 USB flash drive. This is one of the best programs and it is also completely free. Using Rufus we will create a bootable Windows 10 USB flash drive, and after that we will proceed to install Windows 10 on the computer. Before starting the process, you need to familiarize yourself with the Windows 10 system requirements and correlate them with the capabilities of your PC. You should be aware that during the installation of a new Windows, all old data on drive C will be completely deleted, and therefore it is necessary to transfer the necessary personal files to another drive in advance. If you will be installing Windows 10 on a laptop, connect your laptop to a power source before starting the process, as the whole process takes a lot of time. And so, we begin. Connect a USB flash drive with at least 8GB capacity to your computer or laptop. Open the description of my video. Then find the link to the Windows 10 download site, and click on the link. It is indicated here that on this site for Windows XP and Vista you can download the Windows 10 ISO file, so that you can then burn it to a USB flash drive or DVD, but for Windows 7, 8 and Windows 10 you can download an application that will load onto a USB flash drive ISO file of Windows 10 and will create an installation USB flash drive. Therefore, if you have another PC, or your relative or friend has a PC with Windows 7, 8, or with Windows 10, then make a bootable USB flash drive in this way, and the whole process will go faster and without problems. You can see how easy it is to create a bootable Windows 10 flash drive in this way in my other video, the link is in the video description. On this page you can learn more about the conditions for downloading and installing Windows 10. So we chose the Windows 10 ISO file. To download Windows 10 ISO click, here. Click, confirm. And here you can choose the language for your Windows 10. Click, confirm. And here you can choose Windows 32-bit or 64-bit. If your PC does not have more than 4GB of RAM and you do not plan to increase its amount after installing Windows 10, then you need to install Windows 10 32-bit. If the RAM is more than 4GB, then install Windows 10 64-bit. I choose 64-bit, and the process of downloading the Windows 10 ISO file to the PC immediately began. The download of the ISO file has completed, let's open the downloads folder and check. Yes, the Windows 10 ISO file has loaded, and now you need to download the Rufus application. Open the description of my video. Find the link to the Rufus download page, and click on it. Windows XP does not support the new version of Rufus and we will download the old version. You have to scroll down a bit and click here. Then you need to find Rufus 2,18. Click, here. And Rufus downloaded to my PC. The application has started. Here we see our USB flash drive. Here I will put FAT32. To select the Windows 10 ISO file, click, here. And click once on the ISO file. Open. Press, Start. 
The program warns that before the process of creating a USB flash drive, all old data on the USB flash drive will be completely deleted. Click, OK. OK. And the creation of a bootable USB flash drive for Windows 10 has begun. Our flash drive is ready. Now we need to restart the computer and call the boot menu. To do this, immediately after the start of the reboot, constantly press the boot menu call key on your keyboard. I press, F9, for you it could be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key. You can see how to call the boot menu in my other video, the link is in the description of this video. Find your bootable USB flash drive in the boot menu. Press, Enter. Press, Enter. It is possible that before the Windows 10 logo appears, you will have a black screen and a blinking cursor in the right corner for quite some time. Do not worry and wait for the Windows 10 logo to appear, this is the installation of a new Windows on your PC. The setup menu has opened, I will not change anything here, and I will click, Next. Click, Install New. If you have a Windows activation key, enter it here, and I will click, I do not have an activation key, and then I will show you how to install Windows 10 without activating the operating system. Here I choose Windows 10 Pro. Next. Here you need to agree to the terms of the license. Next. Here you need to click, Custom. In this window, you need to delete all partitions of the disk where Windows XP was installed, usually the installer assigns them the number 0. If your PC has several disks or other partitions, the program assigns them number 1, number 2, here is a screenshot with an example from another computer. And in order to properly install Windows 10 instead of Windows XP, you need to look in advance and remember the size of the disk with Windows XP and at this step in this window delete the partition where Windows XP used to be. Click on the partition you want to delete, and click, Delete. OK. Now for the correct installation of Windows 10, you need to create new partitions, and for this, click, New. Here you can create several partitions of different sizes. I leave it as it is and click, Apply. OK. The installer created a partition for Drive C and a second small partition for system files. Click, Next and the installation of Windows 10 files on the computer has begun. For a while you don't have to do anything, you can relax and have a cup of tea or coffee. The computer will restart several times during the installation process. Please do not turn off your computer. It remains to make a few settings, here you need to select the region. Yes. Select keyboard layout. Yes. Skip. I will use PC at home. Next. In this window, you can enter your Microsoft account or create a new account. I don't need it, so I click, Offline Account. Limited Experience. Enter a name for your computer here. Here you can create a Windows login password. I will do it later. Next. To reduce the load on the processor, I disable all these settings. Accept. And here is the first greeting of Windows 10. There is very little left before the installation is completed.
Yes. I installed Windows 10. I hope everything went smoothly for you too. Updated start button, and a number of new programs in Windows 10. I'll open, Settings. Then, System. About the system. And here we see that the latest version of Windows 10 has been installed on the computer. Now you can use this Windows without activation for as long as you want, but if you need to get a Microsoft account and activate your operating system, this can be done quickly and easily. Now don't forget to leave your comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would also like to thank you for watching my video. Good luck!